thank you so much sir for kind introduction and thank you so much for saying that postpartum care is very important because since last uh, one hour we are discussing about a uh, preconception care what should we do uh, during the gdm time but most of the time we neglect we have to be honest with ourselves that uh, gynecologists are not concerned once the baby is out and the physician or diabetologist or clinician who is saying seeing that patient the patient most of the time do not come into the follow up and postpartum care and lactation in the aspect of diabetes is often miss so we have discussed till now the beginning of bahubali or we can say the chapter 1 or the infinity war but yet the chapter 2 is remaining the conclusion is remaining and the end war is remaining so why because we all know we are indian we are thin fat indian we are at high risk of diabetes and so as for the gestational diabetes asian indian woman has a high chance to develop gdm talking about hyperglycemia in pregnancy the woman between the age of 20 to 40 9 years have higher chance of gdm that was stated in idf 2017 and we can say that one in six live birth occur to women with some form of hyperglycemia and 84% of the time which is due to gdm so why it, it is concern it is a matter of concern because we all are discussing about uh, beta cell dysfunction we are all discussing about insulin resistance and we must have to note that gdm represents detection of chronic beta cell dysfunction and it is a stage in evolution for type 2 diabetes in a future female what is the life risk of t2dm increased women with gestational diabetes what are the percentage to conversion from uh, gdm to type 2 diabetes and how it goes ahead in ada 2021 they said that there are 10 fold increased chance of development of type 2 diabetes when a women has a gdm as compared to the women who do not have gdm and there is absolute risk increase linearly with the lifetime like 20% at the 10 years 30% at the 20 years 40% at the 30 years and 50% at the 40 years and it increase up to 60% at the 50 years of age so we must say that gdm brings risk to a women's life to have a type 2 diabetes in future life and we have to understand that gestational diabetes induces some gene transformation in the placental gene with a chronic stress and inflammatory pathway as a natural interface all the a mother mother and baby both are connected to placenta and any change in maternal homeostasis in terms of metabolic disturbance are translated through placenta to the fetus as well as there are some increase in the maternal risk like there is up regulation of interleukin leptin stearin and alpha receptor and that downstream molecular adapters indicates an activation of the pathway recruiting stress activated proteins So GDM may play a crucial role in increasing prevalence of GD, diabetes as well as obesity this is a original article and there are some papers who also state that gdm in women will increase the future risk of premature cvd and again one paper supports the same thing but what can we do for that and what are the evidences so i search many literatures in the diagnosis and management of gestational diabetes mellitus from the government of india i do not find anything that uh, gives us guide guideline for the postpartum care and lactation but there is something in standard of care uh, 2023 that says that insulin resistance and insulin demand will decrease dramatically postpartum so after delivery we need to decrease the dose of medication whatever we are giving second important thing is to talk about contraception most of the time we see that immediately after pregnancy there is accidental second pregnancy if the female is having gdm or type 1 type 2 diabetes she must have some time to recover and see to establish a good metabolic value in the body before having second pregnancy and again after 4 to 6 week of pregnancy that should be ogtt with the 75 g of glucose but we should use non pregnant diagnostic criteria for that other important thing is when there is a gdm and obesity duo there are in the female then we have to explain and give intensive lifestyle modification for not only a prevention of future type 2 diabetes but also reduce the obesity breastfeeding is very important in mother of type 2 diabetes or gdm because it is beneficial for mother and baby both an individual who is having gdm uh, should be screened for lifelong for type 2 diabetes and ada says every 1 to 3 years we have to screen them and when there is a history of gdm a patient should uh, seek 
preconceptional care if she is a plan planning a future pregnancy or in the next pregnancy and here is the very important point that already our chairperson has noted that postpartum care should include psychological assessment and support for the female the female who is taking a sugar for the seventh time taking insulin for the fourth time she must be under tremendous stress so her psychological assessment is very necessary uh, again this is a repetitive slide i move on to the lactation part a lactation is a physically and emotionally challenging for the mother in the light of immense benefit to the fetus in terms of nutrition and immunological benefit we must promote breastfeeding in the gdm or a type 2 diabetic or type 1 diabetic mother breastfeeding may also concur long term metabolic benefit both for the mothers and the offspring but however lactation can increase the risk of overnight hypoglycemia so the insulin dosage at the night time or the basal insulin must be adjusted accordingly the breastfeeding will reduce the fasting plasma glucose it will reduce the glucose intolerance to the mother as well as there is a favorable profile in terms of improvement of dyslipidemia at the 4 to 12 weeks of breastfeeding to the mothers now what are the indian guidelines or indian consensus on that uh, there is this is a some slides from uh, uh, a paper which was uh, done under dr v sesaya sir and they said that immediately postpartum the demand of insulin is decrease so how should we manage if the postpartum blood sugar is between 60 to 90 mg per deciliter we have to infuse 5% glucose at 100 ml per hour but if the sugar is between 190 to 120 plain ns should be infused at the rate of 100 ml per hour if the sugar is between 120 to 140 four unit insulin should go hourly 140 to 180 six unit regular insulin should be infused hourly with ns and if the sugar is more than 180 eight unit regular sugar should be infused with 111 ml of ns regularly again they stated the same thing that majority of the gdm patient do not require any treatment for the hyperglycemia if the, if the treatment is necessary the following consideration should be observed in a lactating mother whether she is type 1 uh, she should be put on insulin if the patient is type 2 uh, either insulin or metformin is given in a non lactating mother type 2 diabetic can be managed with the use of ohs when the woman with gdm requires a follow up a glucose tolerance test should be done at the 6 week as well as at the 6 month using a non pregnant diagnostic criteria and our guidelines says that we have to do every year assessment of a mother who is having gdm for the type 2 diabetes a recommendation for insulin therapy we must Uh, and forced to use pens for better accuracy better discreteness and painless injection and whenever required we should use continuous insulin infusion or insulin pump for maintenance of euglycemia in a gdm mother because we all know from the mother during lactation all the metabolic signals go into the child if the maternal state is not okay in terms of nutrition in terms of maternal health or some exposure to smoking or other uh, recreational things the fetus epigenetic changes may bring a future risk of a metabolic disorder into the fetus with that i would like to conclude by saying that the high prevalence of hyperglycemia in a pregnancy is a major obstacle to achieve an important maternal and child health it is a sequel our lifelong and the further research should be done in a public health priority gdm is a harboring to a vicious cycle of transgenerational obesity and diabetes and the general pathology of gdm is shown including the three critical window of opportunity one when there is a, a pcos or a, when lady is a preconceptional we have to prevent hyperglycemia we have to prevent obesity we have to prevent the hypertension second at the time of uh, pregnancy and third at the time of a uh, postpartum phase with that i would like to thank you thank you bansi sir thank you dhruvi and all other respected chairperson and delegates